Hi everyone, I'm Roger, a gadget guy. Back in the 1980s, we all thought that LP records were dead, but they're back in a big way. The modern era has brought a new problem, which is where do you put the record player? These days, you often have a big screen TV take up all the available space between the two speakers. One solution is to go wireless, and there are many turntables on the market which have Bluetooth. Unfortunately, Bluetooth has very limited range and the audio quality, it's not that great. The wireless method I'm showing you in this video doesn't compress the music the way that Bluetooth does. And that means the quality is so much better. And you can play across even a large room with no interference or dropouts, or even to another room if you want to. To get my music from my turntable playing over my Wi-Fi network, I'm going to use a Wim Mini. Now this is a music streamer that's normally used for downloading music and playing it from online sources like Spotify or Quobuz, Tidal, Amazon Music, one of those. But it also lets you link to other systems and play your music across the room or anywhere else in your house. A great way to play the music from your wireless enabled turntable, especially if you already have a good stereo system, is to use a second Wim Mini. I'll cover other options later on in the video. If you're not ready to go through the detailed setup procedure yet, you can skip forward to where I show you how to link the turntable to a playback system and to the demo. The first and most important step in setting up any turntable system is to figure out if your turntable has a phono preamp built in. Old vintage turntables like this one don't have a phono preamp built in because it used to be built into the receiver. Modern turntables sometimes do have the phono preamp built into the turntable itself. So the way you tell for sure if a turntable has a built-in preamp, is does it have a preamp switch? It's either on the back or underneath. And it says here RCA Phono or RCA Line. This means it has a built-in preamp. And you need to have it switched to Line rather than Phono. If your turntable doesn't have a Phono preamp built in, you still don't have to spend a lot of money to get great results. This preamp from Fozzy Audio, for example, is quite inexpensive and works extremely well. To connect up the Wim Mini to a turntable that does have a built-in phono preamp, you need a cable that has RCA female sockets at one end and a three and a half millimeter plug at the other end. Now cables with the male plugs at the RCA end are much more common and you may already have one of these. So to use these, you can just plug an adapter in like this. To set up a turntable that has a built-in phono preamp, we just plug the three and a half millimeter aux plug into the aux in socket on the Wii Mini. And then we take the RCA plugs from the turntable and we connect them to the other end of that cable, red to red, white to white. Then all we need to do is plug the USB power cable into the Wim Mini, plug this end into the wall, and then we're good to go. Turntables that don't have a phono preamp normally have an extra wire like this one, which connects to a screw terminal on the preamp. It's a ground wire and it stops the thing from humming. So first we screw that in to the preamp Then we connect the RCA cables to the preamp input. Then we connect the RCA cables that go to the Wim Mini. And then these, this plugs into the Wim Mini. And then we plug in the power to the Wim Mini. We plug in the power to the preamp. 
we plug the Win Mini and the preamp into the power strip. And very importantly, we turn the preamp on. To connect the second Win Mini to a stereo system, we need to plug the three and a half millimeter plug into the aux out, which is the one next to the power supply input. And then the other end of that cable goes to the aux in of your stereo. It's very important not to use the phono input. And that's all we need to do to connect everything up. So this is the procedure to set up the Wii Mini. And we just power on the Wii Mini and you'll see the flashing light is flashing quite quickly. It'll do this until it's finished booting up. Now remember, this is just a one-time procedure. You obviously don't have to do this every time you want to play a record. Now you see the light is flashing much more slowly. That means the Weem is ready to set up. And we set it up using the Weem Home app. So I go to my phone. We can download the Weem Home app in the Google or Apple App Store. Once we've installed it, I can go to my phone and open it up. And it comes right up with a setup screen for the Weem Mini. So now we go set up. It doesn't matter which audio output we choose if we've just got it connected to a turntable, so we can go next. I'm going to fast forward through this because it's quite straightforward and you'll get the idea. Now, it's going to connect to my Wi-Fi network. You'll see the green light flashing here, which means it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. And then the light goes solid white, which means it's connected. And the app says success. Now you get to rename your Wii Mini. And in this case, I'm just gonna call it Weem Turntable. So we know which one we're talking about. We click Next. We don't have a remote to pair with it, so we go No. We skip the next step. And there's no need to have this work with Amazon's Alexa, so we don't enable that, and we just click Done. Now, the Weem is all set up and ready to go. To get the turntable to play to another stereo, we use the same Weem Home app that we used to set up the Weem. First, we have to find the device we just set up. I have a lot of devices in my home. There it is. We called it Weem Turntable during the setup. Now we go to Settings, which is the little gear wheel in the bottom right corner. Scroll down. We go to Audio Input. Here it says it's set to Wi-Fi. So we select audio input and we go aux in. And you can see that the little light on the top of the Weem turned from white to green, which means the aux in has been selected. Once that's done, we hit the back arrow. Now to get this turntable to play on any other stereo, there's a little symbol that looks like a couple of links of a chain in the top right of the Weem turntable box. We hit touch that and that gives us the options of all of the devices we can play it on. We've chosen to play it on Weem Stereo. We hit that, go done. Now anything that I put on this turntable will play on the stereo in the other room. To show you all this working, I'm gonna use this test record, and that's so that I don't play any copyrighted music. Now what you're gonna hear is just a repeated piano note. So I'm gonna put this record on and then we can go upstairs to hear it playing. This is coming from a record that's down in my basement. So covering even a really large room is no problem at all. One of the great things about these Weem streamers is how well they work with equipment from some other manufacturers. The Weem app discovers and links to Wi-Fi music streamers from Arillic, for example. And that includes the Cheapskate streamer that I showed you in this video. The Dayton Audio WBA Wi-Fi music streamer is very inexpensive 
and it comes with its own remote control. The Andover Songbird is great because it has an optical input. So you can connect your TV up to your music system. And if you're looking for a complete hi-fi system for a smaller room or apartment that doesn't break the bank, then these audio engine A1MR Wi-Fi speakers sound really excellent. If you'd rather play your LP records on a single compact all-in-one speaker, the Edifier MS50A works really well with the Weem Streamer. I'm going to link to all of these products in the description of this video. If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you buy any of the products in the links in the description, it won't cost you any more, but it will help to support the channel and is really appreciated. That's all I had for today. Thanks for watching.